everyone, Mr. Merkage here. Today I've got another video showing you how to add a few things uh, using Discord.net 1.0 and above. Um, ever since I made that video showing you how to update, uh, I've been getting a lot of questions on how to do a few things. Uh, one of the main ones being how to use the embed, because um, I guess that's something everyone wants to do. They look nice, um, something a bit different, and yeah, just something which people want. So that was one of the things I'll be showing you how to do. And also how to add a few events like user joined, user left, and things like that. Uh, so we'll start off with the embed. Um, so what we got here, if you remember, this is where I left off in the update video. Um, you should have your commands here though. Um, what I mean by that is usually we have the case. Uh, you've got your case and command name here. If you follow my videos anyway, but you should have your commands or something like that. What I'm going to do is just whatever message we send to it we're going to use that as the description of the embed and it's going to send it back um, you don't have to do it like me uh, you can put it wherever you wish um, so it's fairly straightforward actually all we do is we'll create an embed as a new uh, embed builder and what we'll do is we'll use with two curly brackets and we'll go in and add a few things to it uh, so what we can do first of all is the main thing will be the title and for this I mean you can put it to whatever you wish it can be a string just like that what I'll do for the purpose of this to show you what you can do with it is we'll use the message dot author and we'll put the username as the title so the user who issued it will be the title um, actually what we need to do is add a comma onto that and go down the line and we can add a few more things so the next thing we can do is maybe add a description and that is like a sort of a big bit of text, a block of text which can go in the middle uh, what I'll do is I'll just put that to the message which we enter as a command let's say so the description will be whatever we enter and then uh, some other things we can do is we have a look uh, we can add a colour to it so we'll go ahead and do that and that will be equal to a new colour and we can just give it an RGB value um, I'll go have red, so I'll just do 25500. That should give us red. Um, what else can we do? We can have a thumbnail URL. So, what that is, uh, it lets you put a picture on the top right of the embed. Uh, a cool thing you can do actually is use message.author and you can get the author's avatar URL or avatar URL. And then you can put their avatar on the embed itself to let them know it was them who issued it that's something I like to do as well uh, so that's that for that a few other things you got is the author of it uh, you can add fields into it um, so like I don't know if you've seen some of them uh, what they do is they add like little sections throughout the embed I mean it's entirely up to you there's a few more things you can add there but what I've showed you now is pretty much uh, a good enough example and show you how it works now after you've uh, conf set up the config for the embed builder we need to actually send it to the chat so we use message uh, dot channel dot send message async and this is where we'd usually just send like the text here the message oh what I need to do is add an await uh, before that and that's how we'd usually send the message this time what we're going to do is leave the message as blank and we'll add a comma and you'll see the there's an overload for said message and it's got is TTS is the lean uh, the embed is the embed option and things like that so what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and put false for the TTS and we'll pass it our embed uh, object which is our embed builder here so now that should send our little embed uh, to, the, to the channel and that's that for that now I'll show you that working in a second before I show you that we'll just go ahead and do the few events real quick so I did mention it a little bit in the last video um, but what we're going to do now is just add a, ha add a handler and we'll use discord dot user joined and that is the event that will be triggered each time a user joins the server and that will be an address of let's say user joined just like that and we can we can hover over this user joined and it tells us here it's a socket guild user if you can see that just there so that's how we know what we need to use so we'll come down uh, let's say here and we'll just say private 
async uh, function. We need to call it user join. And we'll just say user as a socket field user, like it told us. And that'll be as a task. And now inside here, it's very simple. We just use an await user dot guild and that'll that'll get like the server which the user did join and we can't send a message to that what we need to do is get the channel now you can get the channel the specific channel you want but for this example I'm just going to use the default channel and send a message into that one and all I'm going to do is say welcome uh, to the server and we'll just add in their little name user.username and we'll add on a little exclamation mark there so each time someone joins this will be triggered and it will welcome them to the server and I'll go ahead and show you one more because uh, it's it won't take long at all add a handler discord user left address of user left now what I'll do is I'll just copy that one save us a bit of time if we change that to user left and we'll say let's just say we say bye 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 and that will send a message every time someone leaves now that was simple enough because these two were the same uh, what I'll show you now is if we add another handler and look at another event uh, what we've got here is a few other ones event and you see you can see here the socket guild user this one doesn't use it this uses the socket user um, so you need to be sure each time you're using an event you're aware of the parameters it uses so this uses socket role socket role socket group user and so on so you need to be careful because they're not all the same so if you do get that error just check here they if you hover over them they all tell you what you need to use and things like that uh, so yeah that's that I guess now what I'll do is before this video ends I'll show you the embed working so if I launch the bot up uh, we should be online yeah we are now anything I send it's going to reply to me so this is the description text now you see I've got a message back from the bot with an embed my name is the title like we said it there's my avatar and you see the description it was set to whatever I typed here and you see in the red color so that is how you use embeds in discord 1.0 I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time